This is just after 8 o'clock on Sunday morning, the 23rd of May 2010. And basically I'm going to show you how to go from South Dorking to the top of Leith Hill via Redlands Woodland, which is the eastern route. Off the A24 just south of Dorking and go up Redlands Lane, you uh, will hit the official bridleways. It's actually a farm road. But it looks like it, it's, it's all signposted, but it looks like it, some of it makes it look private, but it's not. You can go to, through to this gate and then you're into the woods here. And then once you're beyond here, it's all woodlands all the way up to Cold Harbour. Now, uh, this is uh, the eastern route and it's quite steep and you can see the blue signs there for the bridleway. It's, quite, quite, it's a mixture of pushing and cycling and uh, some of it's pretty steep, but it's a beautiful morning. So I've indulged myself in a few shots of the, the woodland, but it's, it looks like a pathway, but it's actually a bridleway, so it's all official. So for this first section is almost like going on a pathway, and some of it's a bit damp, even in the dry weather, it's a beautiful day as I say. Uh, this is my tracking shot, like once upon a time in the west. Zooming up. Anyway, eventually you hit this junction here, and... Um, it's a bit confusing, but it's basically not up there. You follow the signs. It is signposted on the blue because it's not all official uh, right away. It's going up here. And I have to confess, I pushed this section. Eventually you hit the car park there, and that's the, the road is the Dorking Cold Harbour Road. And then I went up here, which is parallel, but you don't see the road much. But I came out and I found this fabulous view. So where the trees have been removed, I'm looking towards Dorking, and in the distance there's Box Hill. Uh, the Glory Woods is in front of us there where those flats are. The North Downs is going in the background there. That's heading over towards Rygate. That's the first time I've ever seen that view. And that's looking back down to where I came off the main road, where I took the earlier shot looking up. This is a terrific view, but it's not. Uh, it must be quite new because I've only just cleared it. But I had to kind of like scramble through some woods to get to it, and uh, it was fabulous. Uh, I like this shot as well. Anyway, it's all pretty rideable from here on. And you go off the, uh, the forest track here, and you follow the signs, and the blue sign, and the pathways there. And it's not too bad, it's a nice ride. And it's all through the forest, very nice. And the road's probably probably two, three hundred metres away, maybe. You can't see it. And then you hit some more forest road again. And then normally I go down the right-hand side there and I hit the main road and go up to Cold Harbour. But if you carry on here, what you follow the sign, this is a nice section. You get, it's a bit up and down, but it doesn't go all the way back down. But it's uh, you get a bit of spooky word and it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good uh, roller coaster ride. And eventually you head out and hit the main road to Dorking Cold Harbour here. So just around the corner here I took a um, I got, got the first view looking north to the around more on the North Downs. And I was trying to get some good view. But this is where people are cycling, so there's lots quite quite a few mountain bikers out. And you can see here the people on the road bikes going the other way. Now somebody told me they were doing a 113 mile ride. So that's quite tough because it was quite hot already by, this must have been about half nine-ish. So they're, they've got a long day ahead of them and they're going to go up Box Hill and plus around more. So they're quite serious climbs. Anyway, this is Cold Harbour Village. And I was having a bit of a film and a bit of a rest before that, the big climb, which goes up to Leith Hill Cricket Club. Now here's the start of the uh, climb and uh, I did normally I do it all in one go and I do the whole ride in one go and this is, I stopped quite near the top, this is quite near the top and it is steep but you can ride it in first gear but the film doesn't give you, doesn't show you how steep it really is. So this is at the cricket club so again I took some shots here. Beautiful day, beautiful, typical English countryside, really Classic Surrey countryside. And as we're getting clo closer to bo the Leith Hill Tower now, so you're seeing more and more bikers because more of the, the routes converge on this central place. 
So I took the right hand side and uh, I was going that way. You can take the left hand side which is just as good. And I stopped here. I didn't go down this track. I went down here a few weeks ago, first time, and uh, this is going back to towards Dorking, down the, towards Westcott that way. So I didn't go down this way, but I just wanted to take some shots of the views. So we carried on. This is a nice track, very easy. And there's a junction here, and this is the final climb up to the tower. And I walked it. <laughs> I think some of, some people do ride it. It's really tough, and it's uh, there's a lot of routes and stuff. Yeah, but anyone can do it, as you can see. And this is the, at the top, looking down from the tower. And then you get the reward of all these great views. So this one's looking north to Ranmore. So this is where all the mountain bikers hang out, and they meet up with the walkers. So a lot of routes converge here, but most people come up from the West Scott side, which is the north side, which is okay, but I, that's the way I went back, which I haven't filmed the way back today. So you get these brilliant open views, and these are all looking south towards the South Downs, and to the southwest as well. So I was here about 10 o'clock. You see the plains, the plains, Gatwick is to the left, but it was, I was filming into the sun, so I couldn't quite film to it. But I was almost at the level of the plains, you can see here. So these are the shots to the southwest. So on my road bike, I'm probably, you go round underneath on the road. So I'm just looking back to the tower, and I did something which I don't normally do for when I make my films. I paid some money to go up the top of the tower to get these shots here. So with binoculars you can see Dorking, I could see I think I could see Croydon, because I could see the skyscrapers beyond the North Downs. I could see Box Hill. And then this is looking towards Gatwick. Gatwick is over in the distance there, but it was the sun was coming in that direction. And this is looking down from the south. So it's, you get a panoramic view from the top of the tower, it's really good, a 360 degree. But I'll put this, as I said, I'll put this on a separate film. Because I quite like this, it was HD filming day, it was beautiful weather. And it was really great. And this is my final shot. And I was nervously hanging the camera over the side here. Hope you enjoyed the film. Take care, Simon.